Greetings, you adorable rockets. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack a Pack here on LRR MTG. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Today, we're opening a pack of Unstable, which is weird, and you can tell because the pack is sideways. What? Hilarious. There's, I mean, there's other, there's like Battle Bond and Conspiracy and stuff that are also like that. Modern Horizons is also like that, so that's not necessarily that that strange. This pack of Unstable was given to us by Tony Wittick at Las Vegas Magic Fest 2019. They are known as TN Tony 79 in the chat. Thank you so much, Tony. Appreciate it. Let's see what we got going on in the silver bordered world of Unstable. Very nice. Which way around is this pack? Oh, we've got, okay, ah, right, so, there's a token, it's a foil zombie token that on the other side is full art of the zombie. That's neat, I forgot that they did that. First up, we have Magic Word. Two and a blue for a creature enchantment. As Magic Word enters the battlefield, choose a word. Whisper the chosen word, tap target creature. I remember this being very silly at the pre-pre-release. I can't, I'm trying to remember, there were some upsetting words that people chose, and I can't remember exactly what they all were, probably because I've scrubbed that from my memory. But, uh, definitely try something that sounds more threatening when, when whispered. That's, uh, that's, that's my, that's my pro play tip from me to you. Unsettle your opponent. Disclaimer, only do that if you and your opponent are already friends. Do not try to actively unsettle, like, random people at at your game store by like whispering moist or something at them. That's don't <laughs> I've I've made myself upset now. Next is wild crocodile. One and a green for a one one host creature crocodile. So this is one of the host augment cards. I referenced it actually at the top of this episode where y you could take the augment creatures which were like half a card and play them on the host creatures and this was honestly very cool and it, it was sort of like a proto version of what would become mutate in ikoria i think i assume that this was the sort of inspiration for or the test bed i suppose for mutate but what wild crocodile on its own says is when this creature enters the battlefield search your library for a basic land reveal it put it into your hand and shuffle your library and you get to do better stuff with that later if you augment appropriately onto it and then it will be a success our next card is success a single white mana for a terrifying rabbit crab crab it crab it of course it was staring me right in the face and i couldn't see it on account of its enormous claw it's an instant and the target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn if it is a host or has augment it gains lifelink until end of turn so if it's some horrible abomination it gets better Good for it. Selfie Preservation is one and a green for a sorcery. Search your library for a basic land and reveal it. If there's a tree in its art, put it onto the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Be sure to get the tree in the picture, says the, says the flavor text. There are a surprising number of plains, mountains, islands, and swamps that have trees. So you just have to build your mana brace properly and you should never miss. Or get into some deep ontological arguments with your opponents about what is and is not a tree. Fun for everybody. Capital offense, or I'm sorry, capital offense, because there's no capitalization, it's all very small. Two black black for an instant. Target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of times a capital letter appears in its rules text. And reminder, ignore reminder text and flavor text. So let's see here. Uh, this number of capital letter appears in its rules text. I mean, the only creature we have so far is Wild Crocodile, which has one capital letter in its rules text. So not spectacular. Although that would kill the Wild Crocodile because it's only a 1-1. One -one. So I guess in that case it works. Maybe we'll circle back to Capital Offense when we find a m more interesting creature. Just Desserts. It's one and a red for an instant, and it deals pie damage to target creature. The reminder text, pi is the ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter. It's a smidgen more than three. So it this deals 3.1415916. 
eight, five. I don't know about those last three digits. I think I used to know more than that, but I've completely shunted all that information out of my head to make room for, you know, trivial knowledge about Magic the Gathering. So it's probably going to kill something with three toughness, unless some horrible math thing occurs to you. Voracious Vacuum is next. Three mana for a 1-1 one, one host creature construct. Uh, sorry, artifact creature construct, uh, but there's not enough space on the type line, so artifact is torn off and just thrown elsewhere into the rules text. When this creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Also, what that means, by the way, having artifact over there, is it means that when you augment something onto this, that changes the condition of when you put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature. It also makes the creature an artifact creature because artifact is still visible. It's, I like this a lot that they play around with the, they didn't do it as much in the set, but I, I appreciate when the unsets mess with the like graphical layout of the cards. That entertains me because of the kind of person I am who was the, that guy at his, university newspaper. Secret base is next. This secret base is, well, so all the secret bases are tap to add a colorless mana and tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool, spend this mana only to cast a spell that shares a watermark with secret base, which is very clever rules text because there's five different printings of it depending on what um, club, clan, uh, organization, watermark is on it so there were different printings of this with different art and different watermarks and depending on the watermark you got it would tap to cast different spells this one is the order of the widget which was white and blue i want to say we haven't hit anything with that yet but if we did we'd be able to tap this for a colored mana to cast it Chittering Doom! More relevant now since Modern Horizons 2. Three and a green for an enchantment. Whenever you roll four or higher on a die, create a 1-1 one, one squirrel token. Squirrel Tribal. It's here. Cogmentor. It's a single mana for an artifact creature, Gnome Rigger. It's a 1-1 one, one with flying. And for four mana, reassemble target contraption you control. Move it to another one of your sprockets. I... I don't have the like time or frankly memory to explain the entirety of how contraptions work, but certain cards would make contraptions and you had a different deck where they lived and then you would assemble one which was put it into a special contraption zone and then every upkeep the sprocket would move and when the sprocket moved onto a contraption then it would do a thing. I think is the TLDR. It's been a while, and there's a lot of words. Not only can this one assemble a contraption, this can reassemble a contraption. So if you don't like where the contraption is placed, you can move it. Hammerfest Boomtacular. I tried so hard to make this card work, and it just didn't work for me the time that I tried it. Three red red for an enchantment. Whenever you cast a spell with a Goblin Explosion Ears watermark, that's another one of the groups in the set, Hammerfest Boomtacular deals two damage to target creature player. So it's not as good as, like, Burning Vengeance. It's, uh... You, you need a lot of Explosion Ears cards, and this thing costs five mana. But if you could make it work, it would be so cool. And our rare, hey, as predicted at the top of the show, it's Angelic Rocket. Eight mana for an artifact host creature angel. It's a 4-4 with flying. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may destroy target non-land permanent. And if you get to augment onto this and repeatedly destroy target non-land permanent, mwah terrifying. You've built a fantastic machine with any kind of, of rocket. Also, it stays an artifact angel, which is fun. That's neat. Angelic rocket, very cool. Windmill slam, that one in draft. Uh, but then we've got three more cards. We have one of the very nice full art borderless lands from the set. This one's a mountain, which is probably not as spicy as an island, but still very cool. I know James has a whole draft set of these. I think I was working on building a draft set of them at one point. I don't know what happened to them all. And then we have two contraptions, as I mentioned. So first up, we have the Sap Sucker, which is uh, whenever you crank Sap Sucker, right, when the sprocket 
move no when yes when the die moves to the sprocket with the contraption then you crank it hang on i think it says on the back start the game with a crank counter on sprocket three at the beginning of your upkeep if you control a contraption move the crank to your next sprocket and crank any number of that sprocket's contraptions sprocket one follows sprocket three there it's all see reading the card reading both sides of the card explains most of both sides of the card it's not so hard, Graham. Just figure it out. Sap sucker is whenever you crank it, add green. <laughs> I have to be careful. Add green to your mana pool. Until end of turn, this mana doesn't empty from your mana pool as steps and phases end. So it's a bonus mana. Huzzah! And insufferable siphon, which is an uncommon contraption that says whenever you crank this one, target player discards a card. And that's also pretty irritating you boy you could waste a lot of draft picks going deep on contraptions but then if you uh had enough assemblers you could really like you could really get give people the gears i was gonna say it and then i hesitated because i realized it was a terrible pun and then i realized i shouldn't have hesitated i should have just barreled forward with it but instead you know here we are some of you have noticed that i might be getting a little unstable myself during these and how dare you and also that's correct the pack is, I mean, not bad, honestly. It's over $5. We've opened, like, normal sets of magic cards that are not worth that much. Granted, like, over $3 of it is this very nice mountain. But still, pretty good overall. Like I said earlier, absolutely slamming Angelic Rocket. Just because you can do horrible things with it. And uh, obviously, in a wacky, goofy set like Unstable, you want to be particularly soul-crushing. <clears throat> that's gonna do it for the crack a pack thank you all for joining me for this for continuing to join me for this everything we do is brought to you by you on our patreon patreon.com slash loading ready run follow the channel if you want to send us a pack which you do not have to but if you do you can fire it off to our p.o box at attention crack a pack james was here helping out shout out to the editors thank you all for watching goodbye